Hello YouTube family and welcome to another practice. Now I am in a slightly different setting to usual, though I'll be, I will be transitioning to the studio shortly. Today's video is all about yoga for sleep. So this practice is going to be a little bit fluid. There's going to be a few holds as well. And it's really about bringing your body into that state of rest, into that state of calm. And this video is in collaboration with my friends at Emma Mattress, as you can see here. Now I have Emma mattresses, not just in my bedroom in the house, but in the guest bedroom as well, because I really want anyone that comes and stays with me to have an amazing night's sleep. And it's not just about the mattress that brings us into a good night's sleep though the firmness of an Emma mattress, may I just say, is my personal favorite. It's just that perfect kind of combination of being firm with a little bit of softness so you get that cozy feeling as well. So definitely recommend checking them out. I'll leave the link below. Obviously, there are other things that we can do to enhance a good night's sleep. Those things being like a chilled yoga practice as you're about to do. You could do a meditation. You could light candles, aromatherapy. Our sense of smell is really, really powerful. As we know, we smell something sometimes and it triggers a memory. In the same way, if you have the same smell, the same scent every time you go to bed, then your brain shifts into wind down mode because it associates the scent with bedtime. Obviously, we all know about screens, TVs, laptops, phones, where possible, limit the amount of time and also just switch off the blue light and all phones nowadays have that option. The other thing I would say is to charge your phone outside of your room. That for me was the biggest, biggest thing for sleep so that both when I'm going to bed, I'm not looking at my phone and it's not the first thing I wake up to. I have a totally separate alarm clock. So they're just a few of the things that you can do for a better sleep hygiene to enhance your good night's sleep. Now we're gonna get on with this practice, like I say, in collaboration with Emma. So let's head to the studio and let's flow through it. So transitioning to your mat if you haven't already, and we're gonna actually get started in all fours position. So just taking that reminder to yourself and to your body that this practice is all about winding down. So even when there might be a tendency to push harder, stretch harder, try to ease yourself away from that and just allow each moment to kind of melt, allow yourself to just bask in the fluidity, the fluidness of it all, and hopefully finish the practice feeling incredible. So placing the hands underneath the shoulders and just closing down the eyes, shifting the hips side to side. Checking in with the breath, just noticing the gentle rise and fall of the belly. Maybe it's been a long day, maybe the eyes and or the body feeling a little bit tired. Allow yourself to feel that, trying not to fight it. And if the mind feels super alert, if it's buzzing around everywhere, that monkey mind full of thoughts, just allow yourself to connect with the breath. So as you just sway here side to side, this soothing rocking motion, noticing the rise and the fall of the breath, just saying, staying consistent in that rhythm. And then you're gonna keep that rocking going as you rock the bottom all the way down onto the heels. Reach the arms forwards, child's pose, keeping the knees parallel, so not taking them too wide. Allow the head to hang heavy, and again, just continue with that rocking sensation. Remember when we were babies and our loved ones Parents, carers would rock us to sleep. That soothing motion. That's literally what we're doing to ourselves right now. And then keeping that rocking going, coming all the way back up to all fours. And then coming to neutral, taking an inhale, just lift the chest, shine the heart forwards. Exhale as you round and then you lower the hips, the bottom down onto the heels. Inhale, bring it all the way forwards, lift the chest. Exhale, we round and lower back down. 
Inhale, coming up, lift the heart. Exhale, drop the head round the spine, take the bottom back to the heels. Two more like that. Inhale, lifting up. And then exhale, rounding, bringing it down. Now taking those knees wide, reaching the arms out even further if you can, walking the hands over to the right side. Taking a nice big breath in through the nose here. Open the mouth, sigh out. Another one like that, breathing in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. And just allowing yourself to be with the breath. And then walking those hands back through center. And you'll take them over to the other side. So hands coming over to the left now. So we're getting the stretch into the right side body. Let's take those two releasing breaths together, breathing in. Open the mouth, let it go. You take it in. And let it go. And just bringing it into your rhythm, your breath. And then walking those hands back through center. You're going to slowly start to snake your way all the way down to the belly, coming to find sphinx, so elbows underneath the shoulders, palms of the hands down to the earth. Separate the feet slightly, turn the toes in towards each other and drop the ankles out. Lifting through the chest here, drop the head. And take a couple of half neck circles, so right ear comes around to the right shoulder, we drop it down through center, left ear comes to the left shoulder, down through center, and just keep working your way through the side of the neck. Also in this position, that stretch coming further down through the shoulders, the upper spine. One more time going each way, super soothing. And then just allow the head to hang down, chin to chest. Draw the shoulders back. And then lift the head all the way up. Allow the head to drop back slightly, open through the throat. You can open the mouth as you exhale here. And then melting down to the mat. Fingertips come underneath the shoulders. Drop the head down. Let's move through cobra in waves inhale lift exhale fold inhale lift exhale fold two more times inhale lift exhale fold last time inhale lift exhale and fold Pressing the hands down underneath the shoulders, just tucking under the toes, taking it through a child's pose. Bottom pushes back. And then shift the hands forwards for Anahatasana, melting heart pose. You can untuck the toes here if that feels good. Now inhale and lengthen through the spine. Exhale. So most of the time when we're asleep, it's the upper body that tends to get pretty stiff. So if we're able to just iron out a few kinks before we lay down, then we limit the chance of waking up feeling super tight. A few more, just breathing here. And then coming back to that all fours position. I'm gonna inhale, sweep right arm up to the sky. And then exhale, sweep that right arm underneath, lower it all the way down, bottoms up in the sky still. And then left hand reaches high. And you can stay here or you can sweep that left hand around, maybe it hooks to the inside of the right thigh. And you can close down the eyes. You can literally keep your eyes closed throughout this whole practice. 
dedication to the sleep and what's to come. And then unraveling, placing left hand down, placing right hand down, back to that all fours position. Take an inhale, left arm sweeps up to the sky. Exhale, we thread it through, side of the head plants down, and then we sweep the right arm up to the sky. Either staying here or you can sweep that right arm all the way around, tuck it to the inside of the thigh. Staying connected to that breath. And then unraveling. Right hand comes down, left hand comes down. Place the hands forwards, tuck under the toes and navigate your way back to a downward facing dog. Now in our downward facing dog, we're not gonna be here for too long. We don't wanna be firing too much into the body. But what I do wanna invite is a little bit of movement here. So stepping through each foot, Maybe you fully lift one foot up at a time, pushing through the shoulders, grounding down through the hands. And maybe there's a shake, a nod of the head, a little twizzle of the shoulders, of the hips. And then start to walk those feet in towards the hands, feet hip width apart. Take an inhale, lengthen through the chest, come to fingertips. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, come to standing, exhale those hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, we cascade and forwards down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale those hands through heart center, beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we tumble forwards and fold. Take weight into the right leg as you step back with the left foot and drop the left knee down. So we're in a low lunge here. So we just wanna invite a little bit of movement in your low lunge. You can keep your hands down to the floor or they can come to blocks. Little movements, just inhaling forward to a lunge, exhaling back to a half split, does not need to be your fullest version. What I really want the intention to be here is connecting to breath through slow and steady movement. This isn't about yanking ourselves into super deep stretches. So inhaling forwards, exhale back. Two more times. And on your next time coming forwards, you're gonna place both hands to the inside of the right leg. Heel toe that right foot out and start to lower the hips, finding lizard here. And you can stay up in the hands or you can come down to the forearms as you just shift side to side. It's a really nice one to do with the eyes closed. Sending your awareness, your breath into the hip space. Asking yourself, how am I feeling? Hopefully a little bit more mellow than when we started. And then shift the hips back. Bring the right knee down so you're just in an elongated all fours position. And then from here, we're literally gonna step the left foot through between the hands. You might have to wriggle it to get there. And then we just move with that breath again. So we inhale forwards, exhale back. Again, we are not going to the deepest point. Our intention is to stay mindful with the breath. Two more, inhaling as you come forwards, exhaling as you go back. And then when you reach that forwards position, take both hands to the inside and then heel toe that left foot out and find that lizard. Again, that soft, gentle sway side to side. And then 
and shifting the hips all the way back. Just come to kneeling for a second. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale those hands down through heart center. And then just bring the legs around in front of you. Just move yourself towards the front of the mat. Maybe at this point, just locating your block. If you don't have a block, do not worry. I'll give you another option. Let's just take a couple of breaths in Paschimottanasana here. So when we start to fold inwards, it's this lovely cocoon-like feeling as we close ourselves down. And that's kind of what we're doing as we visualize what we do in the evening. We wind down. We close our systems down, ready for rest. So slowly edging your way into the fold. Inhale, just lengthen a little bit. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Two more. Nice. And then gently bringing yourself all the way up. You're going to place the feet down, hip width apart. Shift the hips forward slightly and gently bring yourself down onto your back. Now, like I said, if you've got a block, we're going to take a few breaths in a supported bridge just to open through the front line of the body into the hip space. If you aren't able to do that, if you don't have a block, you could also use a cushion or a bolster just for a tiny little lift. If not, you're going to go for something slightly different. You're just going to take your legs up into the sky and hold here, just shifting that blood flow. So those of you with the block, you're going to lift the hips, slide that block under and whichever height feels right for you. It doesn't need to be this highest one. Palms facing upwards down by your sides. Close down the eyes. Just be mindful that the knees aren't splaying out to the side. We want to try and keep the legs slightly engaged so that we've got that parallel line through the legs. And as you breathe, just this reminder, I am here. I am in my body. I'm in my movement. I am in my breath. And I am exactly where I need to be right now. Two more breaths here. And then just lifting the hips gently, moving the block away from you. If your legs are in the sky, just lowering the legs down. And then everyone just shifting the knees side to side a couple times. And then closing down the eyes if they're not already, hugging those knees now into the chest wrapping the arms around the knees and just sway yourself side to side, gently rocking yourself. This is nothing vigorous about this movement. This is a soothing rocking motion. Small movement here. Take a nice big breath in. And let it go. And of course, if you have longer and you wish to take a nice juicy long Shavasana, then I recommend adding that in right now. If you feel like you're about to doze off and you're ready to move from your mat into bed, then very gently just rock yourself up to seated because you can take your Shavasana in bed. Rock yourself up to seated. Just place one hand on top of the other at the heart center, grounding down into the earth, feeling that energy rise up through the body, the crown of the head, reaching tall. Take a nice big breath in and open the mouth, release. 
Thank you all so much. Hmm. I hope that you are feeling nice and calm. I won't say too much else. Obviously, big thank you to Emma Mattress for collaborating with me on this video and allowing me to bring it to you all. Do go check them out. Honestly, best mattresses that I've used and I look forward to seeing you for a practice again very soon. Bye-bye. Sleep well.